Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner, and today we're whipping up some French toast casserole. In the winter months, this is such a nice, warm breakfast meal. It's pretty easy to throw together, and you can do it the night before and cook it the morning you, that you want to eat it. So that works really nice for holidays or busy days or anything like that. First off, we're going to need about a loaf of French bread. So if you've got a loaf of French bread, you got to use up and other breads will work, but it's about a loaf of French bread. You want about 10 cups of chopped up bread because we're going to dice this up into cubes. And then we're going to use some pecans, an orange for the zest, sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, milk, salt, nutmeg, eggs, and a little bit of butter. So let's so go ahead and just going to start with chopping our pecans. Yeah, we want about half a cup of chopped pecans. You can buy them all chopped, but I usually buy them whole. That way I can use them for whatever it is that I like. Then we're just going to start cutting up our bread. And I like to do about one inch cubes. That works really well. They don't have to be perfect. But I like the texture of it cubed. It's, mm, it's yummy. And I'm going to take my bread. And I've got a greased about three quart hand back here. Um, I just grease it with some coconut oil and I am going to put my bread cubes right in there and start layering them in. And when I get the bottom covered with my cubes, I'm going to start layering my pecans right into the pan with the bread. So it's all mixed in there nice. So this is really simple. It's not a difficult recipe. It takes a little time uh, to cook it, but it's not bad if you do it the night before you want to eat it, or even in the morning, it's not too horrible. So as we get a nice layer in the bottom here, I'm just going to start layering my pecans. We're going to sprinkle them right in there. And I love pecans mm -mm, so good and you don't have to use these but they really are I think they're lovely in here and then we're going to add another layer of bread and this is going to cook down a little so you want it good and tall in your pan so we got a nice little layer in there and we're going to add some more pecans and then I'm going to put another layer of bread on there and this just helps it so the pecans are even around the dish. So once I get my bread and pecans all in the pan and ready to go, then I'm going to start on the egg mixture. And I have got my six eggs in here, and I am just going to add everything in together and then whisk it up. Simple and easy. So we've got six eggs, and I've got the zest from one orange. We're just going to put that right in there. This gives it such a nice, bright flavor. Mm. And we're going to use one and a half cups of milk. Put that right in there. And then a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Put it in. And I've got a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And about a quarter cup of sugar, just regular sugar. We're going to use the brown sugar for the topping. And then we're just going to whisk this all together. Make sure it's all the eggs are beaten and everything is mixed good. So once we have everything mixed well, we are going to pour this right over the top. We're just going to take it and we're going to pour it. Try to get it as evenly around the top as we can. This, mm, I love French toast. This is a lot easier than standing over a hot stove flipping those toasts. And this is just so tasty and easy and it's one of my favorites. I love easy. 
Oh my goodness, easy is the best. Just gonna pour that right in there. All right. So now, if you're making this the night before, now you would cover it over and pop it in the fridge. But we're gonna cook it today. So we're gonna start on the topping. For the topping, we're gonna start by melting four tablespoons of butter, which is a half a stick. And we're gonna get that melted down on so the stove. Once we have our butter all melted, then we're gonna add three tablespoons of brown sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and just a little shake of salt, two shakes. Mm. And then we're just gonna mix this. Okay, so once we have this mixed really well, we are just gonna spoon this over the top of our casserole. I'm just going to spoon this over and just kind of drizzle it around everywhere. Try and get that all over the place. Sugar's still a little thick on this one. But that's okay. It still works. Sometimes the sugar melts down really well, but not always. Okay, once we have that all over the top of our casserole, this little dollin is ready to go in the oven. So we're going to cook this in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 40 minutes. So we're going to get it in there and I'll okay, bring you so back. I just pulled this out of the oven. I like to get it nice and golden brown on top and we're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes so it can cool just a little bit. So after about 10 minutes, this is ready to serve. I like to add a little bit of dried cranberries to the top. They're so tasty with that little bit of orange zest and a little bit of maple syrup. You could also do a little powdered sugar if you like, any way you like it. And that's it. It's super easy. It takes a little bit of time to cook it, about 40 minutes, and then it is ready to go. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.